My name is David Schloss. I work at the Academy of Natural Sciences in a bunch of different roles, but my first role was in the fossil preparation lab. There I spend a lot of time cleaning dinosaur bones. I also work on some other organisms. I attended Wheaton College in Massachusetts, and there I studied biology with a focus in evolutionary history and anatomy. Ever since a young age, I've been going out west to collect fossils. When I was in uh, middle school, I actually went out to Ghost Ranch, New Mexico to collect fossils there. And last summer, I went out to Montana with the Academy and the New Jersey State Museum to collect some dinosaurs. We ended up getting some bits of meat eater, some triceratops, and some ankylosaurs, so some really fun stuff. Mosasaurs are really cool animals. They're actually not dinosaurs. They're marine reptiles, although they did live at the same time as the dinosaurs. They've got a lot of characteristics kind of similar to a snake. And for the time when they were alive, they're actually the predominant marine predators of their day and age, basically aquatic T-Rexes. Mosasaurs were highly carnivorous. They seemed to be able to eat just about anything else in their environment. They tended to eat sharks, other marine reptiles, and plenty of fish. So what I'm gonna do right now is extract this mosasaur tooth from this piece of sandstone. The main piece right here is this central tooth, definitely mosasaur, but there are a few other bits in here as well. You can see remains of tooth fragments here, here, and all across. There's also right here a bit of a shark tooth coming out. So I'm pretty sure if I work here, I might find a whole tooth of another animal as well. So in order to work on this project, I've got a few pieces of equipment here. Mostly I'm going to be working with lots of these. You can probably recognize them. They're dental tools. Just the same kind of thing that would be used at a dentist's office. An X-Acto knife as well. Pretty small blade. I don't want to do any large work or heavy excavation. Brush. Perfect for being able to clean up any of the sand that's going to be left over. And some glue in case anything cracks or breaks. We can use the pin for some smaller work as well, also for applying the glue. So the important first step is defining the edge, knowing what's going to be fossil, what's not. Fish and other marine organisms are pretty tough prey items, so usually you don't want lots of serrations. You want something that's a good impaling structure, able to really grip your prey while you're able to either shake it apart or swallow it whole. For smaller pieces like this, it's just easier to do it this way. The old fashioned ways in fossil preparation turn out to be some of the best ways. It's kind of funny. A lot of the techniques really haven't advanced that much since they have first put into use. You also don't really want to pop this off. You don't want to dig down and sort of try and go like that. So we're starting to get pretty deep down. So now I want to try and angle my way in a little bit. See if I've managed to fully get down past the shape of the tooth from everything I've seen so far. I think I'm about there, if not pretty darn close. Paleontology is a very visual science. You really have to use your eyes a lot, but also your ears and touch as well. So if I hear something that sounds kind of off, if the scraping sounds like I'm moving on a different kind of surface, I want to watch out for that, as well as sudden increases in resistance. So you have to be aware of a couple of different things while you're doing this kind of work and be processing all this information at the same time. So you can start to really see that I'm digging nice and deep down and around it. There's no other bits of fossil sticking out, which is good, especially not from this piece. So obviously I haven't managed to hit it and scratch it up. I got it. And there we go. Tooth has been removed. So you'll see tooth surface on the other side. So now I got the whole thing. It's a little flatter than I thought it was. Worked a little bit further down than I needed to. But otherwise, got the whole thing. Next would just be cleaning up the surface getting the little edge of rock off, and then you've got your mosasaur tooth.